in New York. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, uh, we have a, uh, big show for you tonight. I'm excited. We're back in New York, which is a very nice thing. Hiya, fellas. We're jet lagged. Uh, the show tonight will be crap. Uh, no, we have, <laughs> I like to tell people up front, no. It is nice to be back. I missed New York when we were in L.A. The crowds, the beautiful topless women, it was all fun. <laughs> and that was just the airport. Uh, it was all fun, but it's very nice to be back here in New York. So much is happening here. Senate race heating up. Yep, I sure missed the Senate race when I was in there. <laughs> I'm so full of nonsense. Uh, no, it was in the paper today. I thought this was interesting. I thought I'd uh, mention it to you, just because this is how most people get their news. Uh, <laughs> Top. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> we gave up doing comedy two years ago. It just didn't work out. Top New York Democrats are saying that in order for Hillary Clinton to campaign effectively for Senate, she may have to give up her responsibilities as first lady. That's what they're saying. Aww. That's right, yeah. And uh, in response, President Clinton said, that's okay, I'll have an intern fill in for her. <laughs> so it'll all be fine, which I think is... Little, uh, little celebrity news. A, a, a Canadian film company has announced that Michael Jackson will play Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Don't need to do a joke for this one, I, I guess. We have a joke ready to go. Maybe I should just read just the top part. <laughs> Canadian film company has announced that Michael Jackson will play Edgar Allan Poe in an upcoming movie. That's what they're saying. <laughs> That's right, yeah, and uh, when asked why they chose Jackson, the producer said, because there's no one scarier to parents and children. So we felt he's apparently... The fact that you wooed that is so pathetic. Ow! He sucks! Woo! All right, the, uh... Got a little news for you, a uh, little furniture news. I never tell furniture news, but I have some tonight. The, uh... <laughs> What do you want? I just, we're halfway uh, through, like, I we're into know, season seven. I'm trying to amuse myself here. I know, but just, I've never heard an anchor go. And in the latest furniture news... That's right. <laughs> this just in from our furniture yeah. department. <laughs> True story, the Lazy Boy Chair Company, you all know the Lazy Boy. The Lazy Boy Chair Company is coming out with a new recliner that has a built-in refrigerator, beer holder, and a phone in the armrest. True story. Yeah. And, folks, in a related story, President Clinton called America the greatest country in the world, <laughs> which I get behind. He was thrilled. And then, last thing I'll mention, the other day at the U.S.-Mexican border, an ambulance with its lights flashing, sirens going, was stopped, and police found 100 pounds of marijuana inside. That's right. Yeah, and it turns out, it turns out it really was an emergency. Matthew McConaughey was having another naked bongo party. <laughs> Who's that? He had to get there. Uh, <laughs> I 
I'm gonna keep harping on that story for years to come because I love the term naked bongo party. <laughs> I just love saying it. All right, let's talk about tonight's show. We're thrilled. We have a, uh, this is a great first show back in New York City from the upcoming film, The Cider House Rules. She's beautiful, she's talented. Charlize Theron is on the show. I love Charlize Theron, I bow to her. We also have with us, this man is going to talk. He's gonna, uh, I will interview him. He's also, he's, that's right. He's, uh, you don't even know who I'm gonna say yet. That's right, from Different Strokes, Conrad Bain will be with us. I'm sorry, I, I love to sucker them in. I love to do that. But I thought that, oh no. That's right, Edith Bunker's in the crowd. No, uh, he's gonna talk, he's uh, going to sing. We're thrilled to have him, David Bowie. Stop that. And of course, so glad to have him back. Ladies and gentlemen, playing a pimp's guitar, Jimmy Vivino and the Max Weinberg 7. Jimmy, get a Gentlemen, 